Okay. Itamex Kanatani. Good morning. It is the early AM of Wednesday, June 24th, 2020, in the lunar cycle of Misamsota, the long rains. And I just pulled in here at the canal, water intake canal, to check on the beaver trap that I set out here last night. And it was interesting. When I came out here last night, I decided to set up uh, here. There's actually a, a, another older beaver lodge against this shore here, uh, deeper into the canal than where I was setting it. And I've been seeing the one beaver swimming, you know, up and down the canal during my visits. And I came down here to set the trap because I figured I could anchor on this little, on this little uh, wolf willow here. And when I did. I found a um, leopard frog at the edge of the water. And I've never seen a leopard frog in Lethbridge. There may be leopard frogs in Lethbridge, pockets I don't know, places I don't go, you know. It's a lot of places I don't visit. So, but this was the first one I'd seen in all my time along the river and such around here. So, the trap is empty. Darn. Alright, so what I think I'll do, I'll get a stick and I'll close the trap, but I'll just leave it here, um, just so the beavers get used to seeing it in their environment again for a day or two. I don't know if that helps or hinders. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll leave it here and then I'll come back and set tonight. I'm just peeking around here to see if I see any any sign of the leopard frog. It was right in along this bank here where I was photographing it last night. I've got some different prints in here other than beaver. Yeah, I kind of found it ironic that, uh, you know, in a way, finding a leopard frog here is a very good um, sign. You know, if we can get leopard frog population to kind of crop up here, I would think that adds to our, our biodiversity and uh, our ecology strength. And that was probably engendered by these beavers who are living right here. You know, when it comes right down to it, um, probably that leopard frog wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. And so it's, this is the unfortunate thing about, this is why we gotta keep most of the beavers in Lethbridge, you know? We can't just be willy-nilly getting rid of dozens of beavers because we need them to to build up our biodiversity and our ecological strength, you know. Um, but these ones in the intake canal, <laughs> they got to uh, they got to relocate. That's just the way it is. I'm going to take one of their sticks here, use it to set off the trap. Yeah, we need as many beavers here as we can retain while I think while uh, keeping our of course our city water infrastructure working right we're not being imaginative enough to figure out the ways that we can make the relationship with beavers work for both of us you know I'm sure there's ways they could be assisting in our needs inadvertently oh look at that trip the whole thing there we go Whoa. it's like wow 
<laughs> what do I got to do to make this thing go off? Okay, so I'll just leave it like that and uh, come muck with it this evening. I think we're going to see a leopard frog. I was just uh, mucking with this chain and something here hopped. Where are you, Hoppy? There it is. There it is. That's a leopard frog. Holy moly. <laughs> He's really launching himself. wonder if it's the same one or if there's a good population of them here. That is super cool. Well, given that we have no calls to attend this morning as yet, it's still early, we might get some, but we don't have any yet. So I think my next move is go over to Mahoney's house and get some yard work done before it gets too warm because today is my gardening day typically the Wednesday when I can and uh, and yeah our days have been getting pretty hot this week so I'd best just get that over with and uh, get it out of the way before the, the day's heat comes on off to the west side Hello. So it's noon time now and I just was able to touch base at home long enough to uh, feed Thumper, who I'll introduce you to later. And then uh, I got a snake call. So somebody said that they observed a rattlesnake cross the road here and head into the backyard of number 930. So I'm going to see if the resident is home, if I can access the backyard. Pretty sure I've, pretty sure I've been here before, so I don't think they'd mind me accessing their backyard if they're not home. Let's see. Okay. Somebody reported a rattlesnake going into their backyard. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe I can get in there. Yeah, hey. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, let's scout around a little bit here. How big was it?
Well, they got a little bit of <clears throat> they got a little bit of snake proofing back here, so it might if it came back in here, it might get stopped in here. Snakey poo. Where are you? Yeah, it could be back here in the park. And it could be in their backyard too. Yeah, yeah hey. They've got their dog back there too. Yeah. Yeah, I better check with them as a first step here. Hey, Hi. I am wondering whether you would not mind me doing a quick rattlesnake search through your backyard. Oh, oh sure. <laughs> your neighbors. I got uh, a dog back there. The 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 guys that moved out next door. Um, they it's had fun. a yeah. Somebody saw a rattlesnake go into their backyard. I have just thoroughly searched it. It's not back there. So I'm guessing. Okay, they have a. Uh, oh shit, my dog's. Back yeah, there. your dog's back there too. Okay. <laughs> I imagine he would have noticed a, a rattlesnake <laughs> making its way through the yard. Oh, okay. It's possible then. I know you took one out of from under these bushes here a couple of years ago. Yeah, hey. Come here. No. So I've been unable to locate the snake in either yard as kind of a last ditch effort. I decided to check along the fence line outside here uh, because maybe it never even went into the backyard. And that's still a, a, looking at the situation here. It's still a possibility. You have a fence with a nice big, uh, nice big, uh, what would you call it? Baseboard around the bottom and dugout under there and even I can see perhaps some rodent activity as well um, so my bet is the snake has a little hole down under the fence somewhere and just went in there and from the sounds of everybody's what they're saying this is not a large snake so my guess is that it'll 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 be there and and uh, nobody's staying at this house, I guess. So it's not um, not necessarily going to bump into any pets or anything if it just is hanging on that property. But the neighbors, that's what we got to worry about. They got a lot of kids and stuff right here at this corner. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's not under the fence. Maybe skinny back to the coolie from whence he came that's probably more likely but just wonder why we couldn't find him that's all uh, happens so this is Thumper Thumper came into my hands last night I got a call from Colehurst, I got two calls. I got a call to pick up two young skunks um, from the town hall, and then I got another call but from someone about five blocks away to pick up this guy. And this guy was significantly smaller and more fragile, and just you know not ready to be on his own 
I couldn't really let him release him with the other two because the other two would have probably aggressed on him. He's, he's that much smaller than them. So I brought him here to my backyard where I am feeding him kitten's milk. Do you need more? I'll have to go get more. Yeah, I'll have to grab more in the house. He's very hungry. Very hungry, Thumper. Huh. Chelsea named him Thumper. Of course, from Bambi. Which, if uh, you guys know or remember from last year, I learned that the whole thing of Bambi the fawn deer making friends with a little skunk is not gonna happen ever in any deer mama's lifetime bambi's mom would not have let that pass uh, i've learned it during my skunk relocations that if i let him go anywhere near deer mamas the mamas go right after the skunks and chase them away because what happens if their fawn gets sprayed by a skunk then it becomes a stinky target that's going to be found very easily by coyotes and other predators so no skunks allowed in the deer world. Anyway, I'm very aware that Thumper in Bambi was the rabbit and the skunk was Flower, but uh, we didn't care for Flower as a boy's name for this skunk. Chels thought he should be a Thumper. So, he's not detained. You know, he's just back here there is a skunk den back here that's unoccupied that he can occupy and when he wants to make his way away from here when he's capable of doing that <laughs> you know he's totally free to do so um, I just figured I didn't have the heart to to set this guy so small off in the bush by himself because I know most of the ones that I do that with don't make it anyway but this guy really wouldn't make it. Didn't have a sibling to go with him. Just too tiny, this thumper. So we'll see. Hopefully he stays put back here for a bit. Matures, figures some things out. And then he can launch his life from here. He is a he. So. I'm going to grab some more... Uh, kitten replacement milk <laughs> for this little bottle cap and uh, give him another bite to eat before he goes and lays down or whatever he's planning to do. I don't know, he's already went into the shed so he might just go crash on the full belly that he already has. I don't imagine a, a skunk belly can, that, that little of a guy can be much more than a, a bottle cap's worth, right? I don't know. Anyhow, there's Thumper. Let's see if there's any more calls. All right, just going on two o'clock in the afternoon now, and I am hitting the road once again, back to the canyons and the west side for another rattlesnake pickup. Yeah, you seen them? Just in here. I'm going to pull some weeds out here. She's absolutely terrified of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was right in so he was here. in here somewhere. I don't know. I think it's probably garter snake, but... Yeah, it's pretty... I don't know. i seen a, a rattler up here at the corner. Like, well, you definitely, you guys are in a place where you can get rattlers. But it is, is more of a garter type of environment, hey? Yeah. What is that there? You got a little uh, video camera. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. I videotape all my rattlesnake move moves and put them up on a YouTube. I'm gonna get dumped on here pretty quick, I think. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna kind of climb in behind there, maybe, just to get a quick peek of if there's anything. I don't want to 
destroy anything while I'm at it. Let's see. Well, that is 0 for 2 on the snake calls today, and the rain has hit, obviously. And I just heard probably the longest thunder roll. I mean, it's still going. It's still going. And it's been at this just rolling thunder sound for a while now. Longest thunder roll I ever heard. Little bit of lightning, not too much lightning, but lots of uh, lots of growling. <laughs> anyway, wonder what the uh, forecast is for the rest of the day. Uh, if we're going to continue to see storms coming through, I wouldn't mind. We need the we need the moisture, and I, it's still going. Still just. One constant. Anyhow, going back home, hopefully to uh, relax a bit. Still got to go out regardless of everything for sure. This evening I've got a trap to set in Colehurst at the trailer park and then I've got to go uh, reset the beaver trap again of course before bed but other than those two I don't know if we'll be getting any more snake calls if we're dealing with uh, thunder showers and such passing thunder showers snakes are all gonna go underground <laughs>